says, by faith, Enoch was taken up so that he would not see death. So how was he taken up? It was by faith. And he was not found because God took him up. That's a rapture, you guys. For before he was taken up, he was attested to have been pleasing to God. So here's the question. Are you pleasing to God? So what, is there a rapture in the Old Testament? Actually, there's two of them, my friend. One of them is Enoch, the very first one, and that was during the antediluvian period, which just simply means, that's a theological term, which simply means before the flood. So before the flood, there was a rapture. Enoch walked away with God, it says. And then after that, later on, around 800 BC before Christ, Elijah was also caught up into heaven. A chariot of fire came and swooped him up, and off he went up into heaven without dying. These two men did not die. They were raptured up into heaven, you guys, and you're going to see that in this episode. I'm super excited to go through this with you. So the Bible speaks a lot about Enoch. Enoch was a righteous man, and it was by faith. He walked with God by faith, and he, he had conversations with God. He walked with God. That's what it's about, you guys, a relationship, walking with him through this life. We, walk, we trust him. We lean on him. We, we need him. And then he just walked away with God. The scripture says, we're going to look into those scriptures right now, you guys. I'm so excited about this. Let's do it. So... Genesis chapter 5, it says, Now Enoch lived 65 years and fathered Methuselah. And then Enoch walked with God 300 years after he fathered Methuselah, and he fathered other sons and daughters. So all the days of Enoch were 365 years. Remember, the other guys during this period were living like 900 plus years. This is before the flood. The atmosphere may have been different. People may have lived longer because of the radiation, the atmosphere being different before that flood happened. But we don't know for sure. But anyway, Enoch lived 365 years and he was caught up to God. It's an interesting thing here. So let's go into that again and look at that. So... So all the days of Enoch were 365 days, or excuse me, years, and Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. So he was not, for God took him. That's just like what the rapture is, being caught up. And some people say that, you know, there's no word rapture in the Bible anywhere. Well, actually, there is, if you had a Latin Bible, it would be the word rapture, and it's simply caught up, and it's the Greek word harpazo in the New Testament, and that's where you see it in Thessalonians, right? That harpazo means raptured or caught up. That's all it means, like walked away with God, basically. So, And it's what happened with Elijah too, you guys. So God's in this. So let's go back to the presentation. So he was not, for God took him. Remember Elijah? Here's, here's Elisha, his counterpart there, his buddy. And he said, he asked Elijah if he could, he wanted his faith. You know, he wanted the gift of, of Elijah's faith. And remember his cloak came down and Elisha carried on what his, what his uh, buddy did there. So Hebrews chapter 11 verse 5 says, By faith Enoch was taken up so that he would not see death. So how was he taken up? It was by faith. And he was not found because God took him up. That's a rapture, you guys. For before he was taken up, he was attested to have been pleasing to God. So here's the question. Are you pleasing to God? There are times when I don't feel like I'm pleasing to God because I sin still. As a Christian, as a born-again Christian, I still fall into sin at time to time. That's not the point. I'm clothed in Jesus' righteousness, not my own. And that's what makes me pleasing to God. 
And that's what makes you pleasing to God if you have given your life to Jesus. So that's the big picture, you guys. Are you pleasing to God like Enoch was? So how can I be, you may be asking, how can I be pleasing to God? By faith. That's what the scripture says in Hebrews 11. It was by faith that Enoch walked away with God and was pleasing to God. God was pleased with his trust and his belief in him. That's the key, you guys. So, hey, I love you, and I can't wait to do more of this with you. Right now, we're doing a series called Jesus in the Old Testament. You can hit this playlist right here, and you won't miss anything. And you're going to see Yeshua, if you're in Israel, Yeshua, Mashiach, Jesus, Messiah. That's all it means in the Tanakh, in the Old Testament. And we're already in Genesis now. We're, we're going through it. There's a lot of episodes you can catch up on, but you might want to click on that playlist. I love you guys. God bless you.